So you, you've talked about, told us about the pastor school, but there's there's lots of other things that are going on as a result of Kafa Kuma. Do you want to tell us about um, some of those? Sure. The pastor school is is the one I think that most people know about, but honestly, that's only one month every year, well, two months if you include both sessions. So uh, at the same time, there's lots of other things going on. On the Kafakuma side, which is really where more of our kind of focus is on spiritual development, we have a training center that's available for churches and organizations to do seminars, retreats, that kind of thing. We have a, a children's school that goes from kindergarten to third grade, and we're continually adding new grades to that. Uh, we have pastor school that meets here and uh, also in Congo. Uh, now on the other side of the street, which is over at Rivendell, yeah. where, where John and Kendra so, uh, bought a farm. Yeah, economic uh, activity. Going right, on more there. of the economic activity that goes on over there. John started several businesses, the fish farm. Uh, we have the uh, cassava is a currently growing business. And that's that's uh, a that's a crop. Yeah, it's a it's a root that they use to grind up to make their kind of daily meal. Uh, we have the honey business. Uh, we have the woodworking shop. A lot of other things that go on on the other side of town so, too. Now, with that, you mentioned the honey business. Now, I know the honey business is has kind of evolved and developed into a uh, quite a quite a business enterprise. You want to elaborate on that a little bit? What's going on and how sure. kind of how it got got to that point? Yeah, well, it started about eight years ago with just a few hives, and we're now John and, and the factory have made over eighty five thousand hives, and they're hanging all around Zambia. Uh, we had a great record harvest mid-year last year, 262 tons of honey. Yeah. That's a lot of honey. Uh, but we do have two harvests a year, one in mid-year, one at the end of the year. And so that's going well and, and growing well. And for every kilo of honey, so uh, one ton is a metric ton and it's a thousand kilos. For every kilo of honey, a dollar gets put into the local economy. So $262,000 were put into the local economy just yeah. last year for the one harvest. And, and had it been successful, I mean, not only in Zambia, but hadn't even spread out beyond Zambia a bit? Yes, we have exported some hives uh, outside of Zambia, but we also export all our honey. Uh, well, not all of it, but a good part of it outside, yeah. of, outside of Zambia. And, it, and it's even more broad business, business than that, because with the honey business, there you manufacture the hives that you send out, and also, too, at the harvest, you bring the honey back in and process it, um, bottle it and so forth. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, the whole, both those sides. It, it creates jobs locally because we have a nice processing plant there to do all the processing, to do the bottling, to do the shipping. We need uh, departments for all that. So it's a great job creator. Yeah. And we live kind of near a small village that really doesn't have many jobs around. So very high unemployment rate. Yeah. So. So there's revenue, it's also a revenue stream, I'm assuming, with the selling of the finished product that you are, I think you sell locally, you sell around Zambia, I think you sell, in. I think generally in countries in, in the area of Africa, and yes. also export it out over, right. overseas to some degree. Yeah, we've exported, I mean, most of our honey right now goes to South Africa, uh, but we've exported to Europe, uh, several different countries in Europe. And we're looking at other markets as well, hopefully to have it in the States at some point as well. So. Yeah, so it's, it's grown and definitely kind of quite thing. And like you said, you said as far as creating jobs and things like that, and you manuf manufacture the beehives right there at Rivendell as well. Right, yeah, we make beehives there, and that's, of course, the source of all this income. But uh, there are some people that just want to be the, uh, buy the beehives and have them on their own, keep their own honey. But for the most part, we sell them in uh, cooperation with uh, Bee Sweet Honey so that yeah. they basically sell the honey back to us. Back to you guys. And with that, because that, that model's really grown and been successful with you, now you've been doing some activity with some goats kind of related to this, or at least modeled after this as well. Would you tell us about right. that? That's that's sure. very interesting. Yeah, as, as many of you probably know, uh, if you knew John Enright, uh, he passed away a little over a year ago, and um, one of his dreams was to get a goat project, which works on a similar model as the bee project in the sense that we give the farmer basically the starting kit, yeah. and then we kind of let them start off with the goats, and then for every dollar that's made from the goats, some of it goes back to the farmer, some of it goes to the company. So yeah, that's getting exciting because we have a, an American partner who's decided to fund that, has hired a Purdue Ag student graduate, master graduate, to come out and, and run that for a couple of years. And so that's going to be just exciting to see how that, how that goes. Yeah, that is, that is very exciting news.